Hey everybody, Digibro here. I'm trying out a whole new experimental type of Let's Play. And I'm doing it while playing Pocky and Rocky with Becky, which is not the latest Boku no Pico sequel. It is a, uh, a 2001 Game Boy Advance game that I've never played before. I just bought it on the Nintendo eShop. I got Pocky, Becky, and Rocky. Look at these adorable things. I'm gonna play Pocky. Nice little adorable shrine maiden. Ooh, scary rock. Once upon a time, there was an evil ghost. So what's different about this Let's Play is not going to be evident really to you. Um, it'll be more evident to me. <laughs> because I'm currently laying on my bed, uh, playing a handheld. So I figured that the Wii U gamepad, you know, is basically a handheld gaming device. And that if I can play it, uh, play games that are like on the handheld screen, um, my capture can still can still read it. So it's a good way to to be able to capture handheld games. Um, any game that's available on the Nintendo eShop that's a handheld, you can easily capture. Of course, you have to pay for the game, and Nintendo eShop does a, a little bit uh, overprice their um, their their. They're old games, I think. I, I think I paid $7 for this game, and it's a Game Boy Advance game. Little much for a GBA game. I mean, I suppose that's what I'd pay for it if I found it at a store, because they'd be considered kind of rare, but... I just feel like any game which, uh, which audiences... Which, A, is old as shit, and, you know, like, has already pretty much made its money, isn't really, like, relevant anymore, um... And which people could easily get for free if they wanted it. You should sell it cheap. Not a whole lot of incentive to uh, to mark up the price when, you know, people are going to go, Well, I can just download that shit. Oh, I died. So I know this game's supposed to be hard as shit. Um, my only real exposure to Pocky and Rocky is uh, the Game Grumps playing it on two-player back in the John era. And, uh... It, they made it look incredibly hard, but a lot of fun, and I've always wanted to play it. I wanted to play two-player, but um, I don't think Victor would ever really be down to try to play this game with me, and, uh, Jesus, what the fuck is happening to me? What is this thing? How do I get it off of me? Oh, do I have to ward it with the... No? Get, get away from me! <laughs> I don't know what to do! I think the uh, the the Super Nintendo. Ver oh my God! I've got three of them on me now. Oh, I'm so slow. This is not fair. The Super Nintendo one was multiplayer. This one was for the GBA. Uh, it looks like it's just a straight port of the SNES game, but without multiplayer and um, with the addition of Becky, the third character, which gives the 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 game the hilarious title, Pocky and Rocky with Becky, just like Boku no Pico with Chico. Okay. Well, those rocks really weighed me down. I'm going to make sure I kill them as fast as I can this time. Let's see if there's any secrets back here at the starting area. Doesn't look like it. Oi, 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 oi. So, yeah. This is the type of game this is. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Um, but I, I wanted to see if I could play it from my bed. So, currently, I'm laying, laying on my belly. Damn, I got fucking wasted that time. Well, I guess I have to continue. Um, I've never really played this type of game uh, very extensively. I guess it's kind of like a, like it's a, it's kind of like a shooter game, but it's not really because you. It's like if you somehow combine a shooter and a beat 'em up or something. It's a little weird because you have to really like angle yourself in relationship to the enemy, but the enemies, at least so far, move really slow, so it gives you a little bit more leeway to get yourself into the right position. Alright, these guys I gotta look the fuck out for. I don't know what happened to the other one, but apparently he's gone, so that's lucky. Ah, that damn fucking well frogs, dude. Alright, I guess... Oh, they can shoot sideways. I was gonna say, let's not stand in like a cross-shaped area around that, but uh... I was wrong about that. Oh, well, I saw that coming. I saw him and I was like, am I going to get out of the way in time? 
Oh, hey, it spawned me up here. That's nice. I'm guessing if I had a game over, I'd have to go back to the start. So I, I looked into... Oh my god, what the fuck was that? That was a hideously disgusting freakish monster. I looked into this game back when I was doing cool girl games, because obviously Pocky is an adorable little girl, and this is a... This is one of the, like... Like... It, okay, in Japan... I don't think it's really weird to have girl protagonists in games. I don't think you see a lot of them in Western games, comparatively. Um, especially not in this type of game, which is like, balls hard. And I don't think that's because, necessarily, that there are more girl gamers in Japan who would play this type of game. So much as that more guys in Japan would play girl characters. It, uh... I've always been reminded of um, the webcomic Mega Tokyo, which I used to read a lot back in the day. The two main characters were like stereotypically supposed to be the Western gamer and the like Japanese gamer. It was uh, Largo and Piro, and Largo like was really into Western RPGs and stuff, and and like games like Metal Gear Solid and shit. And he, you know, like his he liked his manly characters and like masculine stuff. And then Piro was like the Japanese. Uh, gamer who's really into well he's not actually Japanese but he's into Japanese games and he was into like uh, dating sims and shit and visual novels you know oh what did I do did not did not mean to do this um yeah I had to start over god damn it all right um yeah he was really into visual novels and shit like that and he um like he would always play girl characters when they played, like, shooter games or MMOs and stuff. Whereas Largo always played, like, a big manly man. And Piro always played, like, a girl version of himself, basically. And, like, in my experience, that was totally how it was, um... Like, playing MMOs and shit myself. Like, I always played girl characters. All the anime fans I knew played, you know, cute girl characters. Whereas, uh... The other guys I knew, like the Western gamers, were usually into playing dude characters. It's a, it's an odd thing, and I, I guess, like, I mean, obviously not all Japanese gamers, um, like, want to play girl characters or, or are more inclined to, and in fact, I think that a lot of Japanese games that are oriented to be, like, more Western style, like, more Western fantasy, will often put more emphasis on, like, masculine traits and stuff like that, but, um, I do think that part of what attracts the Western gamers who are into Japanese games to Japanese games is that they are the type of people who want to play as girl characters like this. But that's just my theory. Alright, I'm trying to concentrate on uh, learning this dude's attacks here. Doesn't seem too rough. It's hard to get in close to. He's he can only hit his head. Oh, oh shit! I did not see that coming. Okay, lesson learned. Don't stand right in front of him. Important tactical information. So yeah, um, this game was on my list for cool girl games, but uh, that series will. For reasons I've talked about on this show plenty of times before, um, probably won't really be more of that, at least not with the same title. I forgot my own new rule. Okay, well, this dude is hard as shit. I think I'm on my last life, so <laughs> let's give it the old college try one more time. Hopefully he doesn't fucking wreck my balls. Crow Tengu. What are you doing here? Do you think I'll let you pass? Ha! What an ass. Fucking ten goos. Fucking... Ugh! Damn it. Uh, I think it was Dead or Alive had a Tengu that you could fight as. Or like a Tengu was the final boss of Dead or Alive. Maybe DOA 2, that's the one I think I played. Yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, man. Pro strats. 
Oh shit, is he still alive? Okay. You're not bad. All right, I'll let you through. I did it. One of my dreams that will never come true is to be a four kids dub actor and do like Yu-Gi-Oh voices or like Bakugan or something where every character is like, I can't believe you defeated me. Oh, Yugi. Those voices are so much fun to do. I totally get why those actors do those voices because they are the most fun. But, uh, I don't think audiences appreciate them in shows that they try to take seriously. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is happening? This is madness! Can I continue from the same place? Yes, yes, alright, still around. Chapter 2. Alright, these things are giving me fucking... They're like, uh, the fucking yellow arrows that Undine uses in fucking... Undertale. I think I can. The best way through this is just to fucking haul ass and not stop for anything. This is a surprisingly effective tactic. Just gotta keep shit off of me. Keep it off my back. Damn it! Got too uh, hasty and greedy. I don't know what's in this, if anything, but nope, nothing. I was hoping that would be an item or something. Whoa, I've got fire now. Ooh, bald dudes. Oh god, they, they don't die in one hit. And they're onion men. Ugh. This is nerve-wracking. But kind of cool. This is giving me uh, Ocarina of Time palace vibes for some reason. The way that this uh, garden area is laid out. I feel like you constantly have to cut it close in this game. Oh shit, is this another boss already? Is it Tengu again? Oh no, it's Raiden. New A, okay. Hey you, it's not my fault. It was the ghost that freed me. Well, uh, like, does that mean you have no agency? Like a ghost frees you, but you just, oh shitting fuck. All right, where the hell do I have to hit this guy? I don't think I did any damage to him. Come on, you son of a bitch. I hope you're all enjoying laying here on the couch with me. Um, again, not really something that you interpret so much. Jesus Christ, this is fucking rough. Oh. Well, I guess that's enough for this experimental little video, since I clearly suck balls at this game. Um, and I'd rather put my full concentration into trying to play it. But if you got the vibe, the vibe of, oh hey, laying on the couch, playing games, let me know, not the couch, the bed, rather. Uh, if you didn't get that vibe and you didn't understand the point of this, then just uh, be like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude.